How does one go from an idea? What if we could use the LG Signature Series OLED Wallpaper TV to make a window to anywhere? to the realization of one of the coolest projects that we've ever done. Well, in my case, you ask your wife to do it. No one externally seems to have any idea what Yvonne actually does here, but coordinating random design and construction projects, including our most recent set upgrade, has been a much larger part of her role than anyone, including her, probably expected. And that's not always an easy thing to deal with. Linus asked me to help with this project and gave me zero instructions for what to do and how to film this or anything. Beyond make it cool and modern, and have a window, but like the window's a TV. I confess I was pretty hands off on this one, but let's face it, if I was in charge, we all know how it would end up looking. So Yvonne brought in carpenter and super nice guy, George, to lend us his woodworking expertise. And after much debate, the decision was made that in order to make the TV as easy to remove as possible, what we were going to do was attach it to an MDF backing with the factory mount then slide the whole thing into a hollowed out cavity using the window casing to hold it in. So step one, go get the TV from the A-roll set. We mangled the flat magnetic wall mount a little bit by over tightening it last time, but we managed to stretch it out on our MDF, getting it nice and flat. Well, that is to say, George managed to stretch it out on the MDF. My attempt to screw it on was so crooked we had to completely redo it. Then we mounted the TV to it, not entirely without mishap, traced the outline to get the exact dimensions for our window, and finally cut it out with a circular saw. A table saw might have been a bit better, but with a steady hand, this should do the trick. Throughout this process, Yvonne was working on the design aspects of the office upgrade, removing the mouse wall clock and Linus Media Group sign and puttying over the incredible amount of damage that the construction glue did to the drywall. Next step, cut out the hole. There is a little bit of room for error here because we'll be adding a frame to make the window effect more convincing. But if our drywall cutout isn't truly square, will end up covering part of the screen in the corners. So if there was ever a time for measure twice, cut once, this is it. Next, some angle grinder tips from George, followed by twisting out the rest of the metal studs before measuring, cutting, and adding wood framing on all four sides to friction mount the TV's backing. So much for that work that we just did filling in this wall a few weeks ago. Now, Everything up until now has been done sort of on faith that it's gonna work. If the MDF backing or the hole in the wall haven't been cut perfectly, or the flat ribbon cable on the back of the TV doesn't line up with our pass-through hole to carry it down to the hidden speaker bar below, we could be looking at hours of cleanup. Oh, perfect fit. And it's good. Now, obviously we wouldn't trust just friction on the back plate to hold the TV in place. I mean, Come on, what is this? A channel where we drop things? Not. <laughs> you need the $100 silent edition, which... Oh, God, it's more like a, 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 a portal... No! Linus drop-proof floors! Whoa! Oh! So the next step was to create a frame for the TV that's meant to be both aesthetic, giving our recessed TV a more window-like appearance and functional, since it's foam backed so it can sit right up snug against the glass and it fits much tighter to hold the whole thing in. After a few test fits, it got a coat of black paint. Better to do that now rather than risk getting paint on the TV while cutting around its fine details. Now it's time to put the TV on its MDF carrier for the last time. 
Some tuck tape pull tabs here should help us get the panel out in the future if we ever decide to tear the window out and relocate it. While mounting the TV, we needed to be extra careful with the fragile, flat ribbon cable. A task made especially difficult by the extension that we planned to use to hide the speaker bar away under the built-in desk. Time now then for some putty touch-ups and a final fitting of the black frame. And then you can rotate. Oh. <laughs> there we go, yeah, that, that works too. This is actually when I saw it for the first time. And I immediately wondered how exactly we were gonna hook up the speaker bar, which also happens to have all of the inputs and outputs for the W series OLED. But I was assured there was a plan for cutting out some of the drywall and fishing it out. They just apparently needed someone with really, really small fingers to actually do it. Yes, it's true. There it goes. Moment of truth time. Having survived a drop, some well, bending, and the last couple of days in a inside. construction zone, would the TV still work? Wow. There we go. Wow. Yes! Now the second goal of this project was to make the workspace match the hypermodern design of having a super thin TV as your window. So it was time then for a custom built-in desk with a purpose-built holder for the speaker bar underneath. With a little bit of trial and error, we managed to deal with the awkward length extension, giving us a completely clean look without restricting our access to IO. Here's how I kind of envision using the new setup. A couple shelves, some cable pass-throughs, and some paint, and we're getting pretty close to finished. But between paint drying times and waiting for a few small items, not least of which is some sexy Brandon footage to play in the window. Brandon, sexy footage, getting the nod, cool. We're out of stuff that we can do for right now. So stay tuned for part three, which is gonna be the glammed up tour of the finished ultimate productivity setup. So thanks for watching guys and thanks to LG for sponsoring this video. If you guys disliked it, you can hit that button, but if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. And while you're down there, you can check out our t-shirt store, which has cool shirts like this one, as well as our community forum.